Chad Chad. Yeah, you. <laughs> that is me, yeah. You're here on my channel. Hello. Hi, I am. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to learn more about conservatism? No. <laughs> Okay. But I guess I guess we will. Well, I have today uh, the conservative Wikipedia oh. for us to peruse. Like literally anything you can pretty much think of as just you would look up on Wikipedia, you can look up the conservative perspective oh, on. Oh, good. So like egg salad. So you're lying and it's not everything. Okay, let's narrow it down. Just try egg. There we go. It's a reproductive capsule produced by Ew. many animals to why, reproduce. Why would you say that? Reproductive capsule. <laughs> Let's compare that to the Wikipedia for egg. Organic vessel containing the zygote. It's a little more scientific than... Reproductive capsule. That is the most not appetizing thing I've ever heard. Can we also talk about how it's like high school essay level, like filling the word count? Reproductive capsule produced by many animals to reproduce. Repro <laughs> they just like repeating the same, a reproductive capsule produced by many animals to reproduce. Yeah, that's what you just said. <laughs> Free range chicken eggs. <laughs> Nice. See, this has like diagrams on the real Wikipedia. Different kinds of eggs. This is all just chicken eggs. And this is, look how short it is in comparison. <laughs> only... Here's a quote about eggs. Oh. Is there anything more fragile than the atheist worldview? Eggs or va vases, perhaps? Oh. User conservative. Wow. <laughs> So do they have a, a quote that ties in conservativeness and just like regardless of what it is? I guess so. I don't know who user conservative is. If you confess your mouth with Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. <laughs> Evidence for Christianity, resources on becoming Christian, any of that look <laughs> good to you? Oh my god, this is just a lot of words. It is, it is. So we, we should just go back to the main page here okay. um, because we have popular articles and we also have the news. So this is what the mainstream media isn't fully covering. Oh, right. Yeah. Also, pro-life Spider-Man scales the tallest skyscraper in Northern California incredibly quickly. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's a man who describes himself in his social media profile as pro-life Spider-Man. So he's not wearing a Spider-Man suit. Oh, wait. No, he's pro-life. Okay. Yeah. So he can't die. Yeah. He's invincible. ProLifeSpiderMan.com. Does he have merch? Oh, we can <laughs> donate? <laughs> Yeah, the aim of this project is not to blame women, but instead to support them. It's very supportive. Women have become victims of cultural and societal pressures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they send me articles every day telling me to get an abortion. <laughs> it's in my newsletter. Let's look at how many times Conservapedia was proven right. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Four times. I mean, oh apparently they got God. a lot right. Look why at why would you put the why would you put the newer ones on the bottom? <laughs> oh my God! Predicted that the Michigan 15 year old shooter who killed four was a violent video game user. Okay, so they proved that this kid played video games. <laughs> they didn't prove the actual link. They just proved that this teenage boy played video games. Congratulations, uh, <laughs> Conservapedia. They must have some psychics working for them because... You've just like <laughs> dreamed it up and just predicted that this child liked Call of Duty. They're <laughs> deducing. They deduced. Sorry. This, this prediction is just a comic <laughs> with no text. <laughs> Wait. This is the prediction. What is this? Let's get a new job for never Trumpers we defeat in Congress. My golf course needs gophers which Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger do for the left. That's a run-on sentence. Hole closed while Liz and Adam retrieve golf balls. So do you get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? So this was the prediction. Who is Phyllis? <laughs> I guess this is Phyllis. I, yeah, but who is this? Also, this is a prediction. So what's the prediction? That so they actually drowned yeah, on the golf they course? Drowned. Did that happen? Let's see. Kamala Harris declared that the Virginia outcome would be the way of the future, expecting liberals to win. <laughs> Bill Clinton crony Terry McAuliffe was defeated by little known Republican. They didn't even say his name. <laughs> in a massive upset and Dems lost their majority in the Virginia assembly. What a prediction. Kind of seems like 
you know, you just thought that someone was going to win an election and you had a chance of being right. Yeah, you had like a, a 50-50 chance. Yeah. And um, it's kind of like betting on a football game, just who's going to win. <laughs> Conservapedia mentions that U.S. women's soccer is a leading candidate at the 2021 Summer Olympics for unsportsmanlike conduct of acting rudely after a disappointing result. That's not a prediction. You're just meant, you're not being proven right. You're just saying Conservapedia mentions. That's not really rude or, or unsportsmanlike. They were just like, yeah, I've never lost to Canada. And then everyone was like, why are you so rude? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you remember, uh, all almost all the U.S. women's soccer uh, players took a knee during the national anthem. So that's unsportsmanlike and rude. Oh, yeah. Conservapedia proven right again. Once again, Conservapedia always coming in with the predictions. Conservapedia states that the COVID vaccine does not stop the spread of the coronavirus. Oh yeah, this was proven. The CDC demands that vaccinated persons wear masks because they carry out the same amount of coronavirus as those who are unvaccinated. Yeah. But except most places, uh, according to the CDC, just say that if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Proven right once again. They are on a fucking roll. Can't believe this. Everything they say is true. <laughs> Conservapedia observes that Mike Pence is inept and weak. <laughs> <laughs> what a prediction. I guess they were proven right. I predict I predict that Mike Pence is a little bitch. <laughs> Chad Chad. List of Chad Chad proven right. <laughs> FAQ. Chad Chad proven right. 2009. <laughs> yeah, all the way back in 2009. <laughs> Let's look at some of the popular articles. Greatest conservative songs. Oh, hell yeah. America by Neil Diamond. <laughs> It's subgenre disco? What the fuck? No, it's not. <laughs> Neil Diamond? What? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, no. Wait, Charlie XCX? No. <laughs> what? Absolutely not. An ode to American car culture and the American dream. Under capitalism, anyone who works hard enough can eventually buy a lavender Lamborghini or a bubblegum pink Ferrari. I'm pretty sure that is not the message that Charlie XCX was trying to communicate. <laughs> wow, and that's that's number four on the top conservative songs of all time. Wow. Charlie XCX, conservative queen. Beat It by Michael Jackson. Is it? It's a conservative message to youth who waste their time and sometimes lives in gang activity. <laughs> what are these descriptions? Sometimes the youth lives in gang activity. Some <laughs> sometimes. Blady? <laughs> What? That's a song about how leftists are instigators in politics. That's what I got from the title. Yeah, be nice, nice to me. me. Don't drive drunk. The title is self-explanatory. Wants people not to drive drunk. And that's conservative. That is very conservative. I conservatively wish you would not drive drunk. Crying in the Chapel by Elvis Presley. It's pro-marriage. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's all you need to do. Let's go Brandon by Laza Alexander and let's go Brandon by Bryson Gray, Tyson James, and Chandler Crump. <laughs> We could do this with any song though. Like we could put any song title and then just make it like a one sentence description of why it's a yeah. conservative staple. You can't tell me that they didn't make up the name Chandler Crump though. That's not real. Chandler Crump. <laughs> I wanna hear the song. We can do that. <laughs> Wow, this looks incredible. This has 6 million views. Whoa. Look at the like to dislike ratio. Oh, no. Let's go, Brandon. Hey. Let's go, Brandon. Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey. Let's go, Brandon. You know what they say, ho. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You know what they say, ho. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Is this the whole song? Do you like his make music great again hat? Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's really uh, creative. I also just love how close he is to the camera <laughs> the whole time. I love how his green screen isn't big enough just to show his whole head and it's cutting off the top of his head. <laughs> like he's so close and he still couldn't get the green screen all the way above him. A song that has united all Americans of all races, creeds, nationalities, and genders. Let's go, Brandon. Hell yeah. There's more than one. Wow. Various shots that people are getting now. There's a typo. Where? Or the name of Hiti Beast. <laughs> <laughs> How many views does this have? And there's just a... <laughs> 1.2 million. And you, and you didn't like check it after you typed. You didn't look at it. You didn't read it a single time. 
Ay, let's go Brandon. I keep a drum like I'm Nick Cannon. Ay, ay, let's go Brandon. Pandemic ain't real, they just planted. Oh my god. You like his bisexual lighting? You have to have the bisexual light. I don't think that he probably isn't aware. I don't think he did it on purpose. <laughs> I do appreciate the um, the variety in, in hat style though in this one. At least he has a bucket hat instead of just the cap because that's getting kind of old. I do wonder what it says because this video is uploaded in 360p. I was about to say it's kind of yeah it's kind of blurry yeah no it was uploaded in 360p and i guess we'll just never know what his hat says it could say i love joe biden and it's all satire it's all a joke it could yeah we'll never know it's also moving way too much for us to be able to read it anyway yeah it's like all the zoom cuts even though it's he's just it's just him <laughs> in front of a white wall why do we need this many he had to make his kitchen wall as exciting as possible because it was the only <laughs> place that his wife would let him film that day. You couldn't <laughs> even get some like appropriate wall art or something. It's just just the bucket hat and the white wall. He had to film. That was the only day he had. Let's go Brandon. Pandemic ain't real. They just planted. Hey, hey. Let's go Brandon. When you ask questions, they start banning. You ask questions, they start banning. Pandemic ain't real. They planned it. Oh. That's true. <laughs> oh, there's more to this. What is that? There's like a lightsaber fight in the second half, like the second act. <laughs> That's the same shot. He just keeps using the same shot over and over again. Oh my God, he does. That's the same one too. <laughs> he does. He's just switching between three shots. Wait, I forgot. This is the one with Chandler Crump. <laughs> oh, Chandler Crump, of course. Why did it like, okay, you can't make a song with two features in it and wait until halfway through the song to feature the first one. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's what they just did. I wish I could take you in the back place, smear the queer man. You could take the vax, I fear God. I don't fear man. What? He said he wishes I... he could take Joe Biden to the back place and smear the queer. Ew. Is that like a sex thing or? <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I, <laughs> I, was that supposed to sound threatening? It's like a, a aggressive flirting. <laughs> like I'm going to smear, <laughs> I'm going to smear you. <laughs> oh God. I'm going to take you out back and smear. <laughs> No Chandler Crump, please. So there's three, there's three people in this song? Yeah, there are. So there's another one. This guy is the only guy who had like a warehouse to film in, but he only had this like weird neon. He had two neon tubes. Those are just like Amazon lights. Yeah. That, that you just put on top of each other. But sometimes they're like parallel, see? And then there's this guy. Let's go Brandon, we know he capping. Patriots out in the street taking action. Okay, we're back to just a, <laughs> a bedroom. This dude's like 17, come on. How old? I was going to say, how old is this person? This, there's no way. They build them back better, but only the Taliban pilots on strike, but to show it's irrelevant, open the- Who filmed for this? I'm a Vax rebel. The fucking impact font. I'm a, and then the like, <laughs> the oh, scribbly wow. font. <laughs> the syringe in the background. Looks great. FJB is a motto in these streets. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon. Sing Let's it with me. Brandon. I keep a drum like I'm Nick Cannon. And then we're back. This guy's like fucking 48 years old, and he hired this like 17 year old to rap with him and then there's also this guy let's see what other uh trending articles there are i want to read how they define feminism feminism is a cancerous ideology that causes an alienation in affection by women for men that sentence makes no sense grammatically or in actuality and feminism promotes participation by women in predominantly male activities regardless of their life pursuits or interests you want to do boy things if you're a feminist okay so like if you hate if you hate something and you're a feminist you're still gonna do it if it's something that guys do yeah guy things include work driving a car being able to own property mm -hmm. that's a guy thing voting wearing bucket hats yeah rap videos making those oh they have a bullet point list of what most feminists want i fucking love bullet points most feminists want to remove significant distinctions between how men and women dress such as preferring that women wear pantsuits rather than dresses what they would know they just don't give a fuck what anyone wears <laughs> even though many feminists also want women to dress immodestly yeah take off all your clothes <laughs> no that's all also in the newsletter. <laughs> Most feminists do not want gender equality. They want power for the female left. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hell yeah. In movies and television portray the men, in particular the white heterosexual men, as inherently evil, dumb, or incompetent, and the women, in particular those that adhere to the feminist agenda, as inherently good, smart, or competent. Note that this com conflicts with gender equality. Note that for later. This is... Who writes these? There are so many <laughs> commas and parentheses and run-on sentences. That's what I'm most mad about right now. Yeah, the is grammar. The grammar in this article. Uh, most feminists oppose chivalry and even feign insult at harmless displays of it. See battle between the sexes. <laughs> what? Shirk traditional gender activities like baking. My favorite gender activity. <laughs> I'm taking a stance and I'm never making myself, I'm never eating. I'm never going to make myself a meal. <laughs> that's, how, that's how feminists say. They always say stuff like that. If I cook, it defeats the, the feminist agenda. That's why I can't cook. That's why everyone else has to cook for me. Object to being addressed as ma'am or feminine nicknames such as sweetheart or honey. Object to other female only names such as temptress. <laughs> Yeah, weird that feminists don't like that one. Wow, so weird that, that feminists don't want to be called sweetheart or honey by creepy men or uh, temptress. <sighs> Those feminists. Every time I call them sugar tits, they get upset. Most feminists object to anyone describing Northern and Western European women being demure or Southern and Eastern European as seductive. J what? Seduction is the act of deceitfully luring someone into romantic or erotic encounter for reasons other than genuine love. Common motives include lust, money, or trapping politicians. <laughs> Famous seducers include Delilah, my bitch ex-wife. <laughs> Christianity and women's rights <laughs> has its own page over there. The Old Testament law states that if a man sells his daughter into slavery, there are specific conditions protecting her status. Oh, thank God. Thank you for throwing us that bone, I guess. Everystudent.com was the source that they used for this. Everystudent.com. Yeah. You've never, I've never heard of that. Well, you know everystudent.com? A safe place to explore questions about life and God. Yeah. <laughs> God's existence. Life's questions, relationships, knowing God, Q&A. Can you describe the devil and his powers? <laughs> <laughs> Could God be a woman? No. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not accurate to view God as a um, woman. <laughs> Could God be a woman? Fuck no. <laughs> this website is probably a really good place to source all your information from. Yeah. Let's look at overcoming homosexuality. Oh, good. I've been looking. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking on how to do that. Oh, thank God. It's definitely possible for those who wish to abandon in homosexuality and many ex-homosexuals attest to this matter literally filling a word count do you have a word count for these fucking articles today many report overcoming homosexuality and becoming heterosexual or celibate through their christian faith or healthy activities if you can't defeat homosexuality just just don't have sex <laughs> yeah it's like then you're not you didn't overcome homosexuality you're just punishing yourself <laughs> wait so where how do how are we supposed to do it they don't tell us? Some people who claim to have overcome homosexuality have reverted or continue to dabble in aspects of the homosexual lifestyle. Like what aspects? Just on the side. Just some gay, a sprinkle of gay on the side. Yeah, I'm dabbling in kissing some boys sometimes. <laughs> I was looking for like a, um, they need a, con a conservative wiki how. Yeah. And then that's, that's probably where this would be. In 1980, a study was published in the American Journal of Psychiatry and 11 men participated in this study the aforementioned study you don't need to put aforementioned in the next sentence you after just you just mentioned it <laughs> like we know you just mentioned it it was just right before this sentence <laughs> you could just say this study it's not it's not aforementioned it's just yeah. literally just mentioned <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Causes of homosexuality are attributable to man's sinful nature, nurture, and environment, and personal choice. So it's men's fault. Typical. Oh, greatest conservative TV shows? Do you think Big Bang Theory is going to be on here? No. Too liberal. Because they're science. Too funny. They're science. Yeah, yeah. The Big Bang Theory is not, is not, it's not Jesus. <laughs> 21 Jump Street. Undercover cops do everything they can in order to stop young people, teenagers, from their lives being ruined, mostly by drugs. Why are you putting everything in parentheses? <laughs> you can just say the thing you want to say. They think that putting parentheses there makes them sound smarter or something. Yeah, they have to. Like, to stop young people, teenagers, just say to stop teenagers. <laughs> T 
teenagers are young people. You don't have to make that distinction to us. I also think it's really funny that they started the sentence with teen looking undercover cops. Yeah, teen looking. You could just say undercover cops. <laughs> American Ninja Warrior. Oh, okay. Only legal US residents may enter on the show. Is that why it's on this list? Show family and the military in positive light and drugs in negative light. Mm, and that's all you need. Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> Shows the real value. Financial. Parentheses. <laughs> financial and historical. Parentheses end of handcrafts and traditional old fashioned things. Ah, thank you. Things. Very specific. And memorabilia. The Adventures of Superman from 1952. Live action adaptation of American icon Superman fights for truth, justice, and in parentheses. Of course. Of course. The American way. Is this all written by one person? It's gotta be. The writing style is consistent across all of these articles. So is this one person with way too much time on their hands or is this their actual job. I, I feel like it's got to be one person, right? We need to like dig deep and figure out who is writing this and then dox them. <laughs> <laughs> the Cosby Show. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Promoting good family values. What do they say about chess? Game of chivalry based purely on skill and merit without any element of chance. It helps overcome addiction and procrastination, drives out anxiety, and builds character. What? You can't just say things about <laughs> things and it and it be true. You just be like... <laughs> Listen, many women play and benefit from chess. <laughs> what? Charmingly elevating it as an art form in popular streaming commentaries. Oh, okay. So, so when women do it, it's an art form. But when guys do it, it's based on... It's, it's chivalry skill. and it's skill <laughs> and mental sharpness. And then when women do it, it's look how pretty I look playing chess. Also, here's another really weird sentence. Streaming commentaries on such as twitch.tv slash chess. Streaming commentaries on such as Twitch. Makes sense. <laughs> this person should write a book. <laughs> oh man, I would I would buy and read it. It, it starts with parentheses. It's just like the first thing is a parentheses and then the end of the book <laughs> ends with the parentheses. And then there's parentheses throughout. I'm really upset about the parentheses. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> it is. It's like, look, yeah, you it's can right just here. see them. Yeah. With there's 35 open parentheses on this page. Oh my God. That's too many open parentheses. Dude, this is a whole sentence just in parentheses. <laughs> oh my god. Just put it in the body of text. You don't have to separate it. What is deceit? Why is this a trending article? Deceit means to deliberately misrepresent or deny truths or lie with the intent to fool or trick others. Or lie. I love that. That's the same thing. <laughs> Supporters of the trans agenda use gender theory. <laughs> That's their first example. <laughs> This is such a disaster. It's awesome. There's a there's one on YouTube. An artistic rendering of YouTube's logo. <laughs> Edited to represent the true nature of its owners. Let's look at the few remaining positive aspects of YouTube. The few remaining positive. Yeah, what if you're one of the few remaining positives? What if you were on here? I'm, it's, <laughs> my name is on there. <laughs> would you delete your channel? Yes, I would have to. <laughs> Despite the many liberal and degenerate aspects of the site, oh. all, all the hope is not lost. For example, Christian videos and music are extremely popular amongst users, reaching tens of millions of views. Another positive <laughs> of YouTube is the popularity and accessibility of conservative political videos such as Ben Shapiro and PragerU. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see also Alex Jones. Oh my God. Earth is the third planet in the solar system. It is the largest of the terrestrial planets and is the only known planet which has life as we know it. I can't read this person's, this gibberish. They just say the same thing in the same sentence. Some biblical scholars have calculated that the earth is around 6,000 years old. That makes sense. That makes me wonder if dinosaurs have an article on here. Oh, that's true. Maybe we should look that up. Some biblically illiterate scientists, however, disagree with this method of calculation. <laughs> Some people wrong people disagree with this. <laughs> so they do believe in dinosaurs? I, I, I mean, they have to, right? What? How? So when did dinosaurs happen? Where's the timeline for the dinosaurs then on this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So they were on day six of creation. So 6,000 years ago. So they were, they were first. Yeah. So dinosaurs came first. Well, no, they coexisted with humans. Right. So it was just Adam and Eve and 
and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The full <laughs> sentence is so funny. And therefore coexisted with humans, thus debunking the theory of evolution and the beliefs of evolutionary scientists about the age and creation of the Earth. Yep, that does debunk it. If you just assert whatever you want, that is the truth. Hey, look, parentheses. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, the fucking parentheses. I'm so done with this person. Dinosaurs lived in harmony with other animals, probably including in the Garden of Eden, eating only plants. Wait. Wait, what? Great. That's not, there's no way. That's not, you just said that they were carnivores and herbivores at the beginning of this article. So where were they carnivores? They lived in harmony and they were, they were like, excuse me, can I eat you? <laughs> and he said, graciously. <laughs> and of course you can can dinosaur i want a movie on that yeah where where they go on the uh noah's ark and there's like a <laughs> it's like jurassic world yeah but on noah's ark and a dinosaur gets loose and murders all <laughs> of the animals and noah is like <laughs> hunting them while they're trapped on this ark i would watch that i would too so wait they literally this whole paragraph is explaining the extinction and then the last sentence says creationists assert that the assumptions under Pinning the methods by used by mo modern geologists are incorrect. What? This does not constitute proof that the impact caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Okay, well then what do you think caused the extinction of the dinosaurs <laughs> then? Because I'm I'm confused. Much like they just uh, consented to letting each other eat each other, they all consented at the same time yeah. to be extinct. They just all at the same time were like, we're bored of this. Peace. I want to know who who's behind this. Well, I wonder if Wikipedia has an article on Conservapedia. They do. It's right here. But the owner is Andrew Schlaffy. Wait, he has a Conservapedia article about himself. Oh, <laughs> Andrew is a really great stand-up guy. Everyone's <laughs> jealous of him, especially the liberals. Graduate from Harvard Law School. And he writes like that? Ah, he teaches homeschooled children, specializing in world history and economics. No, no. I've probably learned a lesson from this guy at some point in my life. Mm. So that's fun. He had read a student's assignment written using common era dating notation rather than Anno Domini system that he preferred, decided the need existed to create an alternative online encyclopedia. What does that have to do with anything? And I was right. He uh, he hoped the conservapedia would become a counterpoint to the liberal bias he perceived in Wikipedia. There's no bias here. <laughs> yeah, he wanted it to stop being biased because they were biased by not letting him post on Wikipedia. Little did they know they create a fucking villain that day. Thank you for joining me on this... Uh, little rabbit hole deep dive you're welcome thank you for showing me this thank you so much mm -hmm. i was missing this <laughs> in my life <laughs> yeah you're welcome a hole has been filled <laughs> A hole has been smeared. <laughs> shout out your things that you want to shout out. Sure. Um, Chad Chad. Your Conservapedia page. My Conservapedia page. But if you don't like to read, I have Chad Chad is my YouTube. And the Chad X2 is my Instagram and everywhere else. Instagram and Twitter. If you want to follow me there. I don't. You can't. Ethan doesn't. So why should you? <laughs> um, follow Ethan. Ethan's stuff. Oh, thanks. What's your stuff? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you again so much for for being on you're welcome anytime thank you say bye to the audience tell them goodbye bye to the audience